Hi everyone, it's Linnea. Today I'm going to recreate one of my own cards, but kind of give it a different twist. One of my favorite things to do with cover plate dies is to create a shaker card. They already have pre-made little open spaces that are going to let sequins peek through, and I think they really give a lot of interest to just having a regular open frame. So I'm going to start by adding some ink over a piece of white cardstock. Now this is not blending cardstock, so you're going to see that the inks don't appear to blend very well. In the end result, once they've soaked into the paper and they've had some time to kind of blend together, it looks a lot smoother. But it doesn't matter. You don't need to take any special care to really blend your inks together because we're going to be die cutting this. And the die cutting is going to kind of break up the ink blending and make it blend together even if it's not perfect. So I am using dark wash jeans at the bottom, Bali blue, some key lime pie, and then some dandelion at the top. Now, I didn't realize that I forgot to wipe off my work surface here. It's a glass mat. So that key lime pie ink is still on my work surface. And as I'm blending the dandelion over the top, I'm picking up the green as well. So it's not as yellow at the top as I would like, but I think it still turned out really great. Now I'm taking the Madison's Garden cover plate die and I'm going to tape this over my ink blended panel. I'm looking at it from the back just to make sure that it lines up perfectly and then I'll use a bit of masking tape to tape this in place and die cut this and check this out. Isn't that such a pretty background? It's gorgeous on its own, but I'm going to add some glitter. This is just some glitter spray. It's going to give a very, very subtle effect. I'm going to spray this twice to intensify it a bit but it's still going to be subtle, which is okay with me. I thought that a, just a little bit of subtle shimmer would be great. Now let's form a shaker card. I'm going to form a very standard shaker card, nothing fancy at all here. I'm going to start by adhering my acetate onto the back. And my acetate is actually just a piece of packaging from a stamp set that I have. It's the plastic that it came in. I keep all my stamps and dies in different pockets and so that way I can recycle and reuse the packaging that actually comes with my stamps. So I'm adding some glue onto the back of that Madison's Garden cover plate die and then I'm going to just press that piece of plastic over the top. I'll put something heavy on that so that it dries and fully adheres just for a couple of minutes. And now here comes the only real special part of my shaker card. I'm using some double thick foam tape so I don't have to go through the hassle of doubling up my tape. It's already double thick. I've trimmed it down so that they are skinny skinny little strips of foam tape and I'm going to fully outline this cover plate die. You want to make sure that all four corners the foam tape is touching so that none of your sequins escape. Once I have that foam tape around the back I'm going to go ahead and complete my shaker. All I did was add some sequins in there. I used some clear sequins, and then I'm going to um, just seal that up with a piece of black cardstock. Now it's time to create my sentiment to go on top. I am using the Chloe Alpha uppercase die set, all uppercase. You could switch this up and do some upper and lowercase, but I'm going with the all uppercase. I love the look of these block style letters. I thought that I would have the word hello, but it turns out that it was too big for my uh, card. So I ended up just going with hey, but my process is still the same. I cut out three of each letter from white heavyweight cardstock, and I'm going to glue them together. Because the Chloe Alpha dies have these little tiny holes in them, it would be really hard to cut out pieces of foam tape. So this is an easier and simpler way. I stacked all three of those together and then they have a little bit of dimension. Now to add a little banner underneath, I am grabbing the new Happy Birthday Sentiment Stack Stamp Set. And I have just a whole bunch of these sentiments already pre-cut out and I keep them in the back of the stamp pocket. I'll pick the one I like the best and add that below my hay sentiment. Now I mentioned in the beginning of the video that this is actually a recreation of one of my cards. You can go over to the LDRS Creative Shop website and if you go under the Madison's Garden cover plate die, you'll be able to see the original. It's similar to this, but it's not a shaker card. So I took one of my designs that I had made earlier and kind of stepped it up a little bit. 
that's something that I like to do when I kind of get in a slump and I'm not sure what to create next. I like to look at my past cards and find a way to just step them up and give them a little bit more oomph. So this is going to complete my card. I adhered everything with some liquid adhesive. I hope you loved the shaker card tutorial and I will see you again soon. Bye.